Hi, I'm just about to show you my setup, my hydrogen setup. This is where I've uh, got the hydrogen line or the hydroxy line teed into the intake manifold of the car from the PCV valve. And we'll fire that back down here. And you can see where my container is. I've got the lid off. And we'll just have a look inside. Looks very crude, but you can see my square stainless steel uh, pipes. Uh, they're all connected in series. And down here, I've got my DC motor controller with an amp gauge on it. And as you can see, it's showing zero because it's not turned on. Now, I've only got the cells ooh, about three quarters full of water. They're about uh, about a centimetre below below the uh, top. It's pretty bit hard to see there. But you see a little bit of water there. About a centimetre below the top of the outer tube. Now what I'll do, I'll just put it on, I'll pause it for a tick. Then I'll come back and I'll just show you what the gas production is like. Actually what I will do is just show you inside the car. There's my switch down there. That controls the hydroxy unit. And up here, there's my black box with the electronic goodies in it. It's just got a, uh, a bar LED fuel meter, air fuel ratio meter. Um, and inside there, there is some circuitry to control the O2 sensor level. And the switch on the left hand side that you can see there. This one, uh, this one over here, that controls how lean or how rich the O2 sensor is showing the fuel. If I wind it all the way back there, that's normal at half a volt, and all the way across here, it's about 0.05 of a volt. So that's the absolute leanest mixture that I can have on the O2 sensor. So what we'll do, I'll just turn the Ignition on, and uh, there you can see a little red light is on. It's on that switch to show that it's working, and just a couple of lights there on the on the I2 sensor box. Now we'll go back around to the front of the car and have a look inside inside the uh, hydroxy generator. You can see, well, it just looks like white foam, doesn't it? There's just heaps and heaps of gas being produced there. Uh, the engine's been, no, it's reasonably warm, it's been around for about 5 or 10 minutes. And if we have a look at the meter here, we can show that it's drawing about 6 amps. So, and it will draw up to about uh, 9 amps when it's warm. Uh, that is pretty good hydroxy production. And it's just foaming up very nicely uh, from in between the plates there. The gap in uh, in those tubes is 1.6 millimetre. Okay, that'll probably do for now, just to give you an indication of what uh, what this crude-looking cell is actually doing. Okay, I'll put the lid back on the unit. There you go. There's your lid back on the unit. At the moment, you're seeing there, but it's a fairly snug fit. And uh, <laughs> this computer just sits in there as well. Now, just to show you something else, um, I originally had this into my airbox, and here's the tube there, and it just goes round, round the back of the uh, engine bay there, and uh, just into just into the back of the uh, the airbox there. Uh, also running a relay with a 30 amp fuse. Uh, so everything is properly fused to, to keep it all under control. If it goes out of control, uh, the fuse will blow. Okay, that'll probably do for now, and uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm running about. Okay, bye for now.